Oh, it's going to hit that. Oh, it's going to cut the corner. Oh, it's going to kill me. I traveled to San Francisco last week and it's very freakish to see a car with no driver. <laughs> we always talk like our <laughs> Teslas and whatever, right? I don't have a Tesla, but hopefully with my cyber truck, it comes, you know, uh, but dude, like you turn around and you see these way more <laughs> like <laughs> driverless cars. Like it's just, it's, it's just freaky. Very freaky. <laughs> Have you so seen those? Funny. No, I haven't seen any in person over here in Houston, right? Uh, but and and I haven't seen any anywhere else. But you know, I've had the full self driving um, package on my car this month, and my trial just ended. Uh, I will say that you get used to it in the beginning. You're a little bit more like super cautious in terms of mm. like, oh shit. Oh, it's going to hit that. Oh, it's going to cut the corner. Oh, it's going to kill me. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> after the first three or four weeks, yes, you realize, uh, yes, it, it could kill you very, very easily, but it it's a little bit better. And I figured out that the way Tesla put it, uh, the full self-driving is that they were able to make it so that I can have input. So if I say I don't want it to change lanes, because that's one of the things that kept changing lanes and things like that, I could put it in a more chill mode. So it'll adjust that. Or if I do want it to change lanes, I could put the signal on uh, to change lanes and it'll actually change lanes for me. I just have to give it a little bit of a nudge. So it does have little things like that, um, that make it a little bit easier to use and make it a little bit more like your own driving style. Um, but you still do have to keep an eye on it. It, I would say like, I think pre when I first started this trial, I it felt like maybe it was at 30% towards mm -hmm. the end of the trial. I got a little bit more used to it understanding what it can't really do very well. Uh, it can't do U-turns. I'm telling you, like, this thing is horrible at U-turns. Every time it tried to do a U-turn, it, cra it almost crashed into um, the curb. Uh, mm -hmm. So I avoided those things. I would turn it off and on. Uh, and so it made it a little bit easier to use. I would still say maybe it's like 75% there. It's got sure. a sort of pretty good chunk uh, missing in terms of capabilities, uh, but it's a lot better. Uh, I would not let it put me into situations where it was going to kill me, but it still tried to kill me a couple times. Like for some reason, <laughs> whenever there's construction, uh, it would, it would get confused. It would like let the, the maps override, I guess it's visual, oh. it's visual capability. Cause it would try to exit where there's no exit and crash me into basically a concrete barrier. It did oh. that several times. Uh, so it's kind of like, yeah, that's, I mean, you have to have your hand on it constantly. You sh really shouldn't be being hands off because <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it, it can you were looking quickly. some, you were, there were some people that they were actually sleeping, right? Well, they were doing it for a commute. So yeah, no, don't do it. Don't do, yeah. don't do it. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're just going straight, sure, you're, you're going to be okay. Right. But even then uh, I was in a situation like that where another car sideswiped me. And it, it didn't react quick enough, so I had to take over and, and move over. So, like, you can't – yeah, it can go straight and it's going to be fine, but you can't account for other drivers, and you still have to be ready to to take over because there's – at least in Houston, right? I think Houston was rated, like, one of the top worst places for driving, at least for, like, um, a road rage and stuff like that. You Like, mm -hmm. you cannot <laughs> – you cannot do it. You won't survive. So uh, – but you get used to the experience a little bit. Um, and I will say like now not having it for this week, mm -hmm. I can say like, oh man, I missed having that full self-driving capability. Right. Cause it was nice on longer drives. Cause I did take it out to the beach a, a few times during this time. And yeah, it does. It now makes that drive a little bit, uh, easier, um, especially long stretches. But once you get off into this into like traffic, not necessarily like small streets is fine too, but once you're in traffic and dealing with other cars and construction and tight turns, no, it's, it's, it's very, very difficult. I saw lots of Reddit posts where uh, people damage their wheels because it cuts corners a lot. It hits those curbs and, you know, I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, yep. Yeah. It's just not worth it, but it's getting there. So that's the good news. Uh, I can see a path where, yes, it's going to get there. But it's always okay until it's not. 
Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it, it just, just takes requires. that one split second that it's not <laughs> for you to be like, damn, I should I shouldn't have been using it. So that's the only thing. It's the it's a high risk, high impact type of thing. Yeah. Well, I think that uh, they they have been doing a good job. Um, uh, to tr they are trying their best. Uh, I mean, we know that Elon works very hard. Him and his, and his people. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You know, we do love to hear from you. Uh, we like to share our ideas, and we like to uh, get info and input from you guys. If you haven't watched our viral Bitcoin all-time high uh, meme remix, check it out on our channel. We've got three of them now. One of them almost has 11,000 uh, views, so uh, we're really excited about that. But that's all we've got for today. You know what? Dale. Bye. Bye.